This is another Japanese book. This one is by Miki Ta Taki. Um, color, color, colors make you happy. I believe they've actually got a, uh, another book out. This is probably their second one. The first one had lots of unicorns in, but I don't have that one. This is a sort of fairy tale themed one. Let's see, you've got this beautiful shiny cover. It's a little bit matte, so you probably could colour on that as well. It's not super shiny, it does have a bit of tooth to it if you want to add a tiny bit of colour there. And the site's profile, I'm guessing that's of the author. And um, there's a little advert for the first book that I've got, which has got like a unicorn on. Side, you've got a coloured cover. This is, oh gosh, you can't see that on the video, can you? Um, don't see on the video, it's actually a picture in white ink. Little cat, two little cats in balloons, and something similar on the back with three cats. Um, it's quite shiny though, so you'd have difficulty colouring maybe with gel pens, something like that. Go in, and this is super, super thin paper here. This one's here, and it's got like some. Yeah, again, I don't think you can see them on the video. Little very light blue ink with some little flowers and super thin, it's almost like chasing paper. They come into this coloured image here. By now, of course, the paper is a lot thicker, it's quite a decent thickness. We've got some pre coloured pictures here, and these are some tips and tricks. All in Japanese, but I suppose you could sort of follow the pictures along. When we get into the actual book, I so say it's quite. Nice thick paper, it's got a bit of a tooth on it. Looks like Sleeping Beauty, Cinderella, Rapunzel, lots of eggs and things in there. I think this must be our Snow White, the Evil Queen there. Not sure who this girl is. This must be the little mermaid. More little mermaid. And Rapunzel. Rapunzel? What am I talking about? Thumbelina even. And some cute little rabbits. And not sure who this lady is riding a horse, but there she's very prin princess fight. And there she's more of a sort of warrior. It seems to be the same girl, almost the same image. Some flying horses. There's a sort of random ballerina in a fairy type costume. I'll show you this girl is with this bear. Oh, this is a very obvious Alice in Wonderland. This is another princess type one sewing something. And oh, this will be Little Red Riding Hood. A uh, little matchstick girl. And Wizard of Oz. Sort of general ballet one. Oh, those are the same sort of cats you can see on the cover with the balloons. And then we get into a different section of the book, which is the horoscope part. You see, you've got girls for each sign in the horoscope. See Aries, that's my one. Taurus, Gemini. I'm not sure who she is. Virgo, maybe. Leo. Um, I'm not very good with star signs. Scorpio and the Libra is it scales. And then we get to the back of the book and we have, I suppose you could just colour them as images themselves, but the way they're booked out there, I think they might meant to be gift tags of some sort. We've got some square ones, some round ones. A little bunny here, the rest of it's blank. We've got the super thin tracing paper, again with flowers printed on it, and that's the end of the book.